I'm Libby Sherwood and I do therapy and I also do outdoor activities. And I love it when I have the opportunity to blend the two. So for years I've been pursuing high mountain base jump. I did a trip to Nepal in 2012 and 13 and also spent a lot of time and resources exploring new sites in Peru. When my boyfriend Chad and I turned our sights to Patagonia, the goal was a little bit different than prior trips because it was a cliff that had already been done before. Estamos en Patagonia! Woo! It had only been done by three people and they were all sponsored climbers with professional climbing teams. This is Cerro Torre. That's El Mocho. This down here is El Mochito. So it was a totally different scenario and we had a number of unknown factors to deal with, not the least of which was the Patagonian weather, which is one of those things that it's one thing to hear about it and it's totally another thing to, when you're in it, experiencing it. When we started planning this project, I found myself having to evaluate in a completely objective way questions like, did I have the confidence? Did I have the technical skills to pursue a climb of this caliber in such a serious alpine area? I thought maybe my fitness and experience with the other side of things with the jumping would make up for it, but I, I definitely had to be really careful to keep an open mind. We have this very human tendency to justify our actions by assigning greater value to things that we do, especially if it deviates from the norm. And I think the risk there is that whatever it is that we're pursuing can really wind up getting wrapped up in our identities and suddenly there's this great pressure to succeed, almost an external pressure that we've created and uh, also a pressure to perform. I didn't want to become so wrapped up in it that any failure also became my identity because I knew that in 10 years it might not, you know, might not mean anything. And I think that goes with anything. The whole project was such a metaphor for every other endeavor in my life. We had all these unplanned deviations that we just had to adapt to. Of course there was the weather, but there were also things like the state of the trail. Parts had been almost completely washed away. It'd be cool if we found a trail. That's something. Trail would be nice. Yeah, or some mechanism of travel. <laughs> Wet gear, broken gear. And we were getting pelted by rain. Half, half of our food eaten half, by Fox. Half of our food stores. And most of the food that we'd had for us. So we have the food we brought for other people, but we don't have any more food have for anymore. ourselves. And then he took all the good stuff, like the cheese and- He took a chocolate, chocolate bar. <laughs> he took a chocolate Not bar. okay. The entire bag was destroyed. I lost a glove. I couldn't find one of my climbing shoes which was a big problem, so we actually had to go looking for it. And Chad wound up finding it half a mile away in this glacial stream and had to dig it out with an ice axe. I just spilled all of the hot water that I just made, so I'm starting over. Roll them with the punches. So one of the great things about the mountains that any mountaineer or alpinist could tell you is that they're notorious for teaching us these incredible lessons. There were so many moments where we really thought this this isn't gonna happen. So we finally arrived at our campsite and our climbing partner never showed up. So we explained our situation to a couple of the other climbers and they agreed to attempt the route with us. We scoped our landing area. This is gonna be our landing area. Got our makeshift wind flag set up here. I believe that little diving board right about there-ish is where we're gonna try and go from. Trying to make it happen. Finally. <laughs> and tomorrow is hopefully the day. During the climb, we ended up getting stormed off. What started off just as a few flurries that we thought, oh, they're so beautiful, turned into a torrential downpour. It made it impossible to climb. There was no obvious descent from where we were. And at one point, we're perched on this tiny, pretty much non-existent ledge. And literally, I had a waterfall pouring through me and all my jackets, all my layers. Everybody was near hypothermia. It was a dangerous situation for all of us. 
especially as a woman dealing with extreme environments involves so much emotional fortitude. That failed attempt took so much out of me and Chad. We were laying in the tent that night, struggling with this balance of when do we push and when is it time to let go of something and walk away? At this point, we'd been in Patagonia for over a month and we decided that we really didn't have enough food and resources to stay and make it happen. So we, we were gonna have to go back and that was it. I woke up the next morning, literally a few hours later, and the storm had cleared and the sun was shining. I was incredulous and my shoes were starting to dry. So to me, that was a sign that we had to give it one more shot. So it took me two whole days to go into town to replenish our food supplies and trying to find a solution to our climbing partner dilemma. Chad wound up staying at camp to dry out all of the gear, which included opening all the parachutes and drying those out. We had no communication except the promise that oh, I would be back in a couple of days. So I ran into town to figure out what happened to our climbing partner. Who totally bailed on us. And go get more food because of all the food that the boxes ate. We're experiencing really good weather. Patagonia today, the day that we're not doing anything, of course. My third day of not doing anything in a row. We met this group of American climbers that stepped up and offered to help us because they'd seen how much hard work we'd been putting in. And their enthusiasm took our efforts to a whole new level. Here we were in the middle of nowhere, having never climbed with these guys, and suddenly decided to climb as a party of five, which is totally unheard of, up a significant alpine route with tons of gear in one of the most extreme environments pretty much in the world. Nice work. Little minor hiccups were nothing to these guys. They were so dialed, so patient, and so generous. Chad and I were blown away. I couldn't tell you, honestly, who was more excited at the top when we were getting ready to jump. Oh my god, that was like the coolest thing I've ever seen in my fucking life. I'm just tingling. I'm like <laughs> Oh my God. Oh, it's a jump. <laughs> oh my God. Congratulations, Livy. <laughs> Oh my God, that was so awesome. Oh, happy oh, birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> That's like the best birthday present ever, right? <laughs> so much work, I was so worth it. It was a jump. Oh, it was amazing. Can you see the weather? Yeah. So beautiful. I knew you were going to make it. This is my landing area. Uh, ow, ow. Mm, fuck. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. After the jump, as we're walking back over the hill, I just started crying. I was so happy. I couldn't believe that we'd finally made it happen. To me, it was so much more than just a base jump or a climb or doing something extreme. It was about having a vision and seeing that vision through because it was something that I'd been working on in one way or another for so many years. And being willing to really work for something, put 200% into something and prove that I could make it work. And to me, that really exceeds the boundaries of sport and applies to everything from 
relationships to business endeavors. There's nothing particularly badass about this project that couldn't be extended to any other scenario in life, and I really believe that in the work that I do. I meet with people who have the goal of walking up a set of stairs or dealing with loss, dealing with divorce, relationships, losing weight, or maybe just achieving more of a life-work balance. And I think those goals are equally important. Ultimately, we're the ones in control of how we show up every day. The only real limits we have in life are the ones we set for ourselves. <laughs> nice work, gang.